Hello, in this video, we're going to address uh, an issue which can happen on your WordPress. Uh, there has been a critical error on this website. So we're going to look at how you can fix this. And also in this video, we're going to look at, um, there's sometimes when a new website has been uploaded, you realize the inner pages don't load. So we're going to also look into uh, that issue, like when you try to uh, click on the inner pages after uploading your website, the inner pages don't load. So we're going to look at those issues one by one. And if you watch the video up to the end, we shall show you how you can change the PHP version of your website and also how to generate a default HT access for your WordPress. But before you go to all that, let's try to see how you can fix this, okay? Now, this is usually caused by a plugin which is non compatible with your server. All right. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the C panel and uh, we're going to see which plugin is causing the problem in the C panel. All right. Now, sometimes, okay, this is my C panel. If you're using a control panel, it looks like this. If you're using maybe another C, uh, C panel, maybe Plesk or something, it's fine. You just go to file manager. When you go to file manager, you're going to look um, into where your files are. Now, I've seen some videos encouraging you to go to the error logs. That is fine. But sometimes the error logs don't usually show you specifically the problem. So if you're not technical enough, you may not know what actually the error code is showing you. So this is my error log. It's fine, let me just open it up for you, maybe uh, just to show you like it's uh, how it looks. So my air log shows like something like this, okay? It's a lot of core, it's a lot of lines, but so it may not really know what is the cause of the issue because they're showing like this plugin is having an issue, this firm, uh, some core files in WP includes they're having an issue. So it's uh, it, it, it may not give you really what exactly to do to, to correct your error. But out of my experience, I've realized this is usually caused by some plugins. So what you do, uh, you go into your WP content folder and you go into your plugins folder. Now, sometimes most cases I've realized uh, there are free plugins which usually give me the problem, okay? It's usually the, uh, the, the 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 contact form seven, the composer that you are using for the website, or the WooCommerce, those three plugins. Okay, if your website really depends on WooCommerce, uh, it depends on a uh, uh, an editor like maybe a bakery or uh, uh, Elementor. Or contact form seven. Now, these are one of the plugins which are, usually I find a problem with when my site shows this error. There has been a critical error on this website. So what I do, I usually first remove a plugin by plugin, but I won't really waste a lot of time because I am going to start with an editor, just compose. Okay. So let me remove this. I'm not going to delete it out. I'm just going to put, I'm just going to move it out of the folder to up. I'm going to just move it up, okay? So let me move it up. All right. So just a minute. So when I move it out and I'm going to come here and I'm going to refresh, when I refresh, you're going to see that the website can load. Just I've told you like, Usually the problem is a plugin or something, but usually it's a plugin. So if I move the editor, so in your case, if you're using Elementor, you can first move the Elementor. If you are using uh, Delp Baker, you can first move the Delp Baker just to confirm it's a one with the problem. So in my case, it's a Delp Baker which was causing the problem. But if I remove it, then the website kind of collapses. My design kind of moves out because the website needs. WP Bakery. So what do I do? Okay, now this is the time I can go to the to the dashboard. What I usually do is I try to reinstall the plugin 
back again. Sometimes the website will download the plugin, which is compatible with the server. I've seen it sometimes, but other times it may refuse and you may have, you may have to just upgrade the plugin. But let's do part by part. So let me first put back my DLP Bakery because I realized my website needs it. So I can't really take it away. If it was maybe WordCommerce, my website is an, is an NGO. It doesn't have WordCommerce. I will have maybe left it out. Okay, but I can't have a site with this stuff. So I really need to have it back. So it's going to force me to install DLP Bakery again. Okay, now let me install it again. So I've finished installing it again. Let me go to plugins again so that I can activate it. You realize actually it's activated because I just removed the folder out. So when I installed it, it was already activated. So when it's activated, you realize I can't log in. This error comes back, okay? There have been a critical error. So what I do, when you are in this position, like you can't, use this website without an editor and the editor is causing the problem this is a time to think of downgrading or upgrading your server version okay so let me go to the ship panel this is the ship panel so let me go to php my admin so what you do when you realize the plugin is needed but also causes an error what you do you either upgrade your uh, php version or you downgrade it. So currently it's 8.1. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download it. I'm, I'm going to downgrade it a bit. So I'm going to downgrade it to 7.4. So let me apply. Now, the way you downgrade the version usually differs in uh, panels they're using. In Presk, it's a different thing. In Nemchip, it's a different atmosphere. So, but if you're using C panel, it looks like this, okay? In Bluehost, I think Bluehost has a different editor. So you have to look for where you can downgrade your PHP version for the website. So I've downgraded it from 8.1 to 7.3. Okay. Yeah. Actually, let me just put it to 7.4 because 7.3 is kind of old. So let me put it to 7.4. So when I put it to 7.4 and I come and refresh my website, uh, the good news, it's going to load. So it's going to load. Wow. It's kind of a good site, right? So actually, we design websites. In case you need a website, you can contact me on my contacts on my YouTube. So you realize the website will now load. Beautiful website. It will now load. So it was failing because of um, a plugin, but a plugin is not kind of compatible with a new server. So it means you may have to upgrade either the plugin to the latest or downgrade your server or upgrade your server. Okay, so that is fixed. But then now when I click on maybe one of the inner pages, let me click on this. I may realize now I'm getting Ella 404 page non found. Okay, now this is weird because the site was working well when I was working on it from another server. I just moved the site here. So I'm going to show you how to fix this and it's going to involve the us creating an HT access. Now WordPress, it's, uh, it's, it's vital for it to have a right HT access, okay? Sometimes when you're moving files, there's a way you can end up deleting an HT file, HT access file. So, but that is not a problem, you can regenerate it. So currently my website doesn't have an HT access file. So that's why my inner pages are not working. So I'm going to kind of generate an HT access file here. So I can just do a quick uh, add the file plus file, then I'm going to name it .ht access. Okay. Then I'm going to create a new file. Right, it seems actually it exists. So I'm going to check it out. Let me kind of click to view the, head, uh, the hidden HD access file. So make sure if you don't see your HD access file, you just go to settings and then say show hidden files because by default it's hidden. So when I show it's hidden files, it's here. So let me kind of go and see what's happening in this HD access file. You realize it's there, but it doesn't have really the necessary contents of a, de a default WordPress HT access file. So I'm going to kind of generate 
um, back the content for HT access files. So I can easily go to maybe Google. I just say default HT. A uh, good news, maybe I've ever went to this link. So is this one the default HD access file? I'm getting this file from Stock Exchange website, wordpress.stockexchange.com. They have a, but it's, you can even find it anywhere. Okay, it looks like it usually looks simple. It looks like this. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy this as it is. Copy. Then I'm going to come back to my editor, to my uh, HTAccess file, and I'm just going to remove all this, then I'm going to paste this, all right? I don't I don't have to know what actually each one has, uh, uh, means, but I just know this usually works for. So let me save. So when I save and I go back here and I kind of try to refresh, um, okay, we're going to have, an issue back again. So we're going to go back and try to troubleshoot, okay? So let me try to go back to my HD access file and try to undo. Let me have these things back, all right? Let me try to refresh, all right? So it means my HD access file, I may not really have to delete everything. So to be on the safe side, let me put these things below here. Let me not actually delete the other stuff, okay? It's kind of the server which put it out. So sometimes we don't, we don't really know what what's they're used for. So let me try to refresh and see if everything is working well, okay? So far, I've not got the issue. So let me try to click in the inner pages. All right, there. So the inner pages now work, all right? It's a very beautiful website. The inner pages work. So, so you have to be careful. You're generating a new HD access by this point. And if you find some default lines in your HD access, just leave them there. Just paste there down below the, the text that you have found it. So I've fixed the L, two errors loading the inner pages and also I'll fix the error of critical error on the website. Now, sometimes WordPress sends you an email to your email about the error, but sometimes if you're not technical, you may not really understand it. But that is basically how to how you can troubleshoot a website which is not loading. Thank you and I appreciate if you can subscribe on my YouTube. Bye bye.